Hi guys, in today's video, I will talk about the different types of connections that is available within the Tableau so that you can connect to whatever data sources that you are looking for. So this is the Tableau workbook uh, that uh, that is open from the last video. And uh, the idea is that uh, to show you the different types of connectors. So for example, most of the times we have the Excel as a connector. So where we can simply choose Excel and it will open up uh, uh, the, inf the information about our data sources, the location from where we can import the Excel workbook. As you can see, it has the option of, uh, us, you know, figuring out whether there is any Excel workbook is mentioned over here. Apart from this, you can you can take the information from a text file because mostly servers, let's say, give you log files and all in the form of a text file or any other location, any other um, you know data sources giving you the text file. Then you can take it uh, through this. It's very simple again, it will open up the dialog box and you can select the text CSV or tap file and get it imported. Then you have Microsoft Access uh, database related files where you need to specify the database location and all. So if I click it over here like this, you need to browse the file if there is any password or any workgroup security and then finally open it. Uh, JSON file. The interesting thing is PDF file because you can read the PDF and I have a separate video altogether to show you how it can read the PDF file because most of the time even I struggle with that uh, if I need any government related information which is published on government uh, data websites they are uh, publishing the critical information in a PDF and within the PDF you have tables and uh, to get that information you really have to copy paste and then fine tune the data to make it more meaningful but uh, with the help of this option we can straightforward download the data directly into Tableau and uh, make a little bit of adjustment and make it useful for our dashboards we'll talk about the spatial file uh, for location related data statistical file and uh, when i click more uh, it has the option of uh, giving figuring out whether you want to use any Tableau related workbook information, Excel, CSV, all that different options which you are directly seeing over there uh, here on the left hand side. It's, it's basically given over here. Apart from this, if, if there are any server locations like SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL or Amazon Redshift, apart from that, uh, a lot of options is given over here like Firebird database, uh, Aster database, I mean Teradata, Splunk, so a lot of options is given over here uh, from which you can uh, you can really directly connect and uh, get the data directly into your into your uh, Tableau workbook like Salesforce, one of the very interesting one because mostly organization these days are using Salesforce. So it's very simple, you just go and click, it will open a Salesforce interface uh, where you can sign in from your username and password and it will just ask you to uh, whether you want to allow the access of uh, of salesforce to tableau that's that's pretty much all you need to do and you will be getting the data directly into your tableau workbook so these these are the various options uh, that we have in coming videos we will be exploring uh, a lot of these options uh, based on where the data is stored to walk you through uh, about the examples uh, and how you can configure and do the advanced configurations in the upcoming videos. So that's pretty much about it. And um, and uh, in the next video, I will going to walk you through with the uh, workbook about uh, what the workbook is, what the dashboard is, story, and uh, there are different parts about filters and how you can make selections, stuff like that. Well, till that, uh, thank you for watching and uh, subscribe to the videos to get directly in your inbox about the new video information. Thank you.